I have a tenant moving in in 24 hours, so I need to deep clean my entire property. Good morning. I always start my day off with taking a sip of water. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely a morning bird. I am my most productive in the morning. I also start off with making my bed in the morning. I just noticed that it keeps me out of the bed. Since I work from home, I really need to make my bed so I'm not just laying in it all day long. And that's my baby Nico. He loves to snuggle with me whenever I'm going to sleep. I also love a really cute set of PJs. It just makes me feel more put together before bed. But making my bed definitely keeps me motivated and it keeps me productive even though I don't do it every Every single morning, I try to do it as often as possible. And here's me giving my cat more rubs. So in 2020, I was so broke. I literally used to work as a bartender and I got fired from my job. I was in college. I was so broke, you guys. My account was overdrafted. I was pulling out of savings. It was bad. It was really bad. So I legit had to just figure it out with my content. I hustled with my content. I was posting all the time. I ended up being able to make this a full-time job. I moved across the country all by myself from Florida to California. I lived in a high-rise apartment. It was a whole entire journey that I'm so grateful for. I am officially done packing and I will be leaving for the airport in 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm moving across the country. Guys, I am here in my new apartment. All these packages. I feel like if you have any dream, whether that's to become a content creator, whether it's to climb the corporate ladder, whatever it is, you need to make sure you are sticking to it, manifesting it, and you are keeping your dreams big. I am a super big dreamer. I'm very optimistic. I mean, I'm a Sagittarius, so whenever I have a dream, I know I can achieve it. But I do love the level of content about beauty and about self-improvement because I feel like it's very important, especially if you want to network as a woman. Your network circle gets you everywhere you need to go. Your network circle matters much more than what you know, even though the two together what you know and your network comes together very well and it brings you very far in life who you know is so much more important but I just felt like I needed to do something more I've always wanted to invest in real estate I've wanted to have my own rental property since freshman year of college okay guys so I am getting my place painted so they said they're gonna have to do two coats I think it's gonna look really good with two coats when i got the keys to my house i was so happy i did minor renovations i got the walls painted i decorated it all by myself you guys like it took me two months to decorate my entire house by myself but it was such a fun project and i can't wait to do it again having my house was an entire journey that i would have never imagined that i would be able to achieve this so young and the only reason why i was able to was because i am so serious about the power of man Manifestation. I think leveling up definitely starts with your inner world, the way you speak to yourself every single day. And then afterwards, I think it's how you carry yourself, how you look, how you present yourself. I'm going to get dressed and we're going to go ahead and run some errands and get started with prepping the house for my new tenant. This house is a rental property, so I have three beds, two baths. I currently have one tenant and I have a new one moving in and I'm so excited for him to move in. I'm deep cleaning his room and then I'm going to deep clean the bathroom and the kitchen but first i need to run to home depot and buy some cleaning products because i just recently ran out okay, up in five. um i'm looking for light bulbs light bulbs oh right there <laughs> thank you I need light bulbs and some new cleaning products for the house so i can clean it for the tenant that is moving in So 
So here is the rundown of every single cleaning product I'm going to use to deep clean my rental property. This is one of my favorite Febreze scents, Linen and Sky. It smells so good. It smells like you just finished taking your clean clothes out of the laundry and it smells so amazing. My dresser has some really high quality wood, so I'm going to use this wood cleaner on top of it. You can never go wrong with this toilet bowl cleaner from Clorox. I use it literally every single week. I'm also going to use this Sprayway glass cleaner. It's my favorite. I love it so much more than Windex. It literally leaves no streaks, so I use this every week. I use the Lysol cleaning wipes to wipe down all of my countertops and surfaces, and I use the cleaner and bleach spray to do the same exact thing on a multiple surfaces and this is the duster that I'm using on all of my decor items and look at how adorable my little girl is my last tenant did a really good job of cleaning his room but I'm just going to rewash the sheets just in case it took me about three weeks to finish decorating this entire room I got the sheets and the pillowcases from Amazon I wanted to keep it pure white because it's pretty easy for me to clean white sheets. I have that down really well, so I'm not intimidated by cleaning white sheets. <laughs> it also takes a while for my comforter to dry, so I already put that in the washing machine just because I know it takes such a long time for comforters to wash and dry. Like, why the heck does it take so long? This property is fully furnished, so I have all the hangers in for them already. I have coat hangers and pants hangers. This takes about an hour to run in the washer, so I'm going to go ahead and do some other chores while this is washing. I'm using this handheld vacuum for the mattress. I'm just doing this for any dust that can be left over on it. Um, I love this so much because I feel like it charges pretty fast and I've had it for a couple of years so I really enjoy using this. This dresser is handmade. Isn't it so beautiful? I had to wait like four weeks for it, but I love it. If you guys are in the San Diego area, I can definitely link down below where um, I bought this. But I'm using the daily wood cleaner to go ahead and clean that up without messing up the quality of it. My mirror was from Target. It's such a good find. And I also found my lamp from Facebook Marketplace. You guys do not sleep on Facebook Marketplace. I got most of my furniture from Facebook Marketplace. Now I'm getting started in the living room and the dining area. Um, this table is from Facebook Marketplace. It's originally from CB2. And my chairs are from Facebook Marketplace, originally from Poly Barn. So they have some really good finds on there. But I'm just wiping this down and making sure the table is nice. Um, I just really wanted to bring a really good like dining area aesthetic. So I also added a table runner and candles and a vase because I just want to bring the dining area together so it's not super bland.
would you guys believe me if i told you i drove almost four hours in total for this facebook marketplace find i'm really crazy if i find something really good nothing can stop me from getting it but yeah it's a dupe of um the designers i forget the name their coffee table it's really nice but the decor items i also get from home goods so home goods is another really good place or even just thrift shops i got my bubble candle from a thrift shop but I'm just vacuuming the couch because it can collect a lot of dust, fur, all of that stuff that you want to get rid of. This chair was also custom made. It was custom made from the same person I bought the dresser from. Isn't it so nice and unique? I'm literally obsessed with it and the color. I almost switched the color out, but I'm so glad that I kept it. But um, yeah, I'm vacuuming it too because my cats like to sit on there. <laughs> girl we got to make sure we switch out our security cameras regularly this is me getting disgusted because there were literal webs on the security camera it is so gross but your girl's got to do what she got to do so i had to take it down still and get it charged because it was most definitely dying and i don't want any trespassers on my property i have three security cameras in total so i'm just getting all of them down so i can go ahead and charge them clean them and put them back up. So since I'm in the kitchen, I'm going to go ahead and do the dishes. I have this dish rack from Amazon that's so convenient if you're just washing like a couple of dishes that you don't want to put in the dishwasher. My dishwasher is broken, so I am currently going to invest into a new dishwasher so I could buy a really good one for my tenants. All of my plateware and dining ware sets are from West Elm. I'm using my dish gloves because I do not like getting my hands wet, but also somebody told me to get an apron and that's actually a really good idea because I hate getting my clothes wet too. So I gotta find some cute ones.
I definitely had to buy some flowers because it would just look so perfect in the living room and I feel like my tenant would really love seeing that when he gets home so I had to get like a really beautiful set of roses. I needed to change my light bulbs so one stopped working so I was like okay let me go ahead and just get rid of both of these and just get a new set of light bulbs so I ran to Home Depot and got some new lights and they look so great like it makes the entire bathroom so bright and it makes it so much easier to like look in the mirror so I have this new set for my bathroom too since I have two bathrooms in this house so yeah I, I'm really glad that I did this before he came You can definitely tell by the lighting that this was late at night. Um, my sheets are finally finished so I am putting them back into the bed and using fragrance boosters definitely upgrades your laundry quality. Your laundry will smell amazing 
and um, I kind of just use the same method whenever I wash my white sheets. I use a gentle laundry detergent, some bleach, and some fragrance beads, and it is so great for getting rid of any stains or any marks. I will link my throw pillows and my throw blanket down below but I think it just really adds to the whole experience. I'm like super intentional when I'm decorating because I just want it to be a really relaxing and comforting experience. But yeah, just enjoy me setting up his bedroom for him. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Check out my moving vlog next. I show myself moving from a high rise to this property. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.